Why my husband divorced me the role my brother-in-law played. I have 38 met my brother-in-law M38 at uni. He asked me out in our first year and I refused. He called me the C-word and that I am shallow. My best friend told me that it was harmless comments from a drunken guy who got rejected. I never thought myself shallow. It was his demeanor and awkwardness that was off-putting to me. Anyway, he proved my friend right, and other than these comments, I have never felt uncomfortable during my uni years because he never bothered me again. Not even looked my way. Next time I met him was when my baby sister F28 introduced him as her BF. I didn't even recognize him at first, because it was like nine to ten years since that day he talked to me. He was visibly annoyed that I didn't recognize him and called me a liar. The family was skeptical at first about him, but he seemed to treat my sister right and she seemed happy, he is very rich, taking her all over the world and he seemed kind with his too. They got married after a year of dating. They have three children. I met my now ex M45 years ago, and the only odd comment from my brother-in-law was that I was still as shallow and superficial as I was in uni. At the time, I took it as a joke but in hindsight, when I found out the truth and started thinking back looking for red flags, this was probably a big one. He never showed any signs that he disliked my husband and he was always decent enough and his indifference to have a close friendship with my husband and I didn't seem odd because he was always a recluse. A year ago, my husband came home and accused me of cheating and he had evidence. The guy contacted him and he had nudes etc. of me on his phone. The guy told my husband that he didn't know at first that I was married but as soon as he found out, he contacted my now ex. He even apologized to my husband. I have never met this guy in my life. Nothing I said or did made my husband believe me. He left me and our divorce is pending. Then yesterday that guy contacted me. He apologized for what he did and told me that he is friends with my brother-in-law. He sent me conversations, endless conversations my brother-in-law had about me for years. He has never forgotten that I, in his words, didn't even give him a chance and only judged him by his looks. He called me C in that chat. Both groups chats with his friends, but mostly with this guy. They planned this attack and my brother-in-law somehow got access to my photos. The reason this guy contacted me now is that he felt guilty because even when my marriage is over my brother-in-law still was angry and hateful especially when he heard that I was on a date last weekend. So the friend felt that I he didn't help his friend, but ruined innocent people's lives. Not sure what to do. My brother-in-law has actually been happier and more sociable than usual since my divorce and now I know why, although first I thought he felt sorry and wanted to support me. His jokes about me ending up an old maid with cats as companions don't sound like jokes anymore. He meant them. I don't want to ruin my sister's life. She's very happy with her husband. I'm not sure either if I can with her husband. I'm not sure if I should tell my ex or not. I am very heartbroken that he didn't believe me. Love him very much. He is the love of my life, but I'm not sure if I can forgive him for not believing me. But he is a victim in this too, so maybe he needs to know for closure. I'm so terribly sad and hurt. I'm sorry this post got very long. Comments. Wine 560. It wouldn't shock me if this guy found your sister and is dating her just to remain close to you. Feels too coincidental that he somehow popped back up in your life and then got mad that you didn't remember him. OOP Replies. I feel so too. It makes it even worse. Hi Lady 9627. Then do you think her happiness is real or based on a lie? Because the chances are it's all a lie to get closer to you. Contact your ex and explain what you've been told. Then contact your sister and be honest with her. Those kids deserve better. Ex Carney. I'm not sure how calling the ex is the way to go about this. I think the man who did this is the one who should call the ex. If it comes from her, he will probably think she has concocted this story. It needs to come from Bial's friend. Deleted. Why wouldn't you tell your sister her husband is batshit crazy? Firefly Advocate and seems weirdly obsessed with op to the point their marriage might be a weird revenge fantasy for him. Blue Diamond 12345. ONG that's entirely possible. I wonder how much op and her sister look alike. Jai Pai Love, he definitely hates seeing op in a relationship. He wants her to be single and lonely.
Cause every guy she accepts obviously must have something he lacks since he got rejected. And that's a no-go in his books. So he's doing everything he can to make Op feel miserable. So the very least she should do is going absolutely and see with him. Cause he won't stop until the ending with only cats as companions. Girl in red costume. Yes, you should tell your sister her husband is crazy. Yes, you should clear your name with your ex, even if you don't want to go back to him. You should also go to the police over your pics he shared without consent. Edit. Typos. OP replies. I will be honest. I'm terrified. Isaisley. Seems like he has obsession with you. If your sister choose to forgive him, you should cut contact with them. Updates from comments by OOP. 29th January. Oh god I just remembered something. My sister has my passcodes. He is an IT guy, but maybe it wasn't that he hacked my accounts or something complicated. 30th January. My soon-to-be ex-husband knows everything now. Apparently the guy who contacted me contacted my husband at the same time and confessed to him. My soon-to-be ex is coming to town this weekend and he wants to talk. Afterwards I will probably need to look into taking legal actions, if that's possible and tell my family. I think now that exposing him is the best and more safe approach, should anything more serious happen, at least people would be aware of who to blame. I want to at least make sure that my sister and her children are in safety before I tell them everything, like meeting them at my parents' house after I tell my parents. The picture were real and were probably stolen from my phone or my husband's because he is the only one that I took the pictures for. I don't know if I can get any justice since the pictures were not of my face, at least I was smart enough not to have my face shown in nudes. I don't know what will happen I have tried so much to forget about him and I thought I have managed well, but hearing his voice today after over a year just brought back all good memories. I haven't stopped crying today missing him. On the BIL, he's been following me throughout my uni years and even afterwards. He found my sister and managed to charm her. When they got married I was single and apparently he was telling his friends how he was glad I was old and single and miserable, not my experience of my single life. Then when I met my husband he was angry because he didn't think I would find someone at my age 33. Now when we are getting a divorce he was very pleased again, saying, I would definitely never find someone at 38. That I would regret turning him down. But I was on a date last weekend so he spiraled down again and was angry and wrote horrible things about me so his friend chose to come forward because he thought that my divorce wasn't enough for this guy. His words. 31st January 2024. Neander Beast. I truly hope you both still have the love for each other. OOP. I do but I don't know if he still does. He doesn't live here anymore, and I'm not sure if I can trust him again, or he me for that matter. The breakup was a mess and he was in real shock because he couldn't believe this of me. He called me all kind of stuff, psychopath, fake, low life, disgusting, and he couldn't believe I could trick him like this and act like I had morals. Nothing I said made him believe me, it made him even matter because I was still so convincing so I don't know. There is a lot of hurt there. 3rd February 2024. Hi. Yes, I met with my husband and it didn't go well at all. We talked, and he apologized and asked me to forgive him. He said that he never truly believed that I would cheat, but the evidence was overwhelming, and he just thought that he believed me because he was blinded by his love for me. He then wanted to head over to my sister and her husband to confront him, but I asked him not to, until I am comfortable that my sister is at least at my parents. I wanted my parents to ask her to go visit them and we tell her then. That way she is not with her husband when she finds out, and he finds out that he is exposed. This morning I got many calls and texts from everyone, because my husband went and did it anyway, and he had a huge fight with my brother-in-law. He denied everything of course so my husband blasted him on social media, and made an apology for believing rumors about me. My sister was angry with my and my parents were confused and shocked. I have talked to my parents and told them everything now, and they believe me, but they agree that I should have given the chance to talk to my sister before hell broke loose. Now she is not speaking to me because my husband tried to beat up her husband. He made it worse, yes. He has always been calm and collected and good at de-escalating bad situations. 
never knew he would act so rash and make things worse. 6th, February 2024. I really don't have much to add. My sister is very angry. She said that I have ruined her husband's reputation because my ex has blasted him and his friend everywhere. Now he is talking about wanting to end his life because I ruined it because of a joke he played. My parents have told her everything the day everything was exposed and apparently she believed the me at first but now she has turned on me so she is refusing to listen. I wish I could have a moment with her first before hell broke. Update. I am sorry that I have been gone for too long, and I am overwhelmed by the support that you have given me here. Some of you still asking about me. I don't know where to start. I have been in constant pain and stress about everything that happened, but my brother-in-law is now exposed to everyone about what he did to me. For those of you who think he is in love with me, he isn't. He very much hates my guts and has done since the day I rejected him. Hate is also a driving force, and not only love. So for the stupid users that I would like to call losers who made fun of me at about me bragging about a man not being over me in 20 years, that's is not it. If this is bragging, then you're actually very sick in the head. Unfortunately, I was sent these comments from a different sub about updates. What a bunch of losers. I was in constant fear that my brother-in-law will be hurting my sister because of me and I am not certain if he will. But that was the only reason I have been apathetic. I wasn't sure what the right step was with people like him. He has hidden his hatred so well for so long so what more is he capable of? I didn't want my sister and her children to be the collateral damage. That's why I have been careful. I am sorry to disappoint you by not being the strong bad bitch. I have other priorities. My sister and I finally talked. I love her and her children very much. She seemed just very hurt and questioning her entire marriage, and who can blame her? I tried the baby steps approach. I wanted her to know I was there for her, and I was honest with her about my worries about her and her children with a man like him. It worked for a while and I was being hopeful, but something changed, and it probably had to do with her husband giving her an ultimatum. Divorce or cut your family off. She chose her marriage. It broke my parents and me but I don't think we can do anything about it. It is her own choice, even if we believe it is coerced. But maybe there's this little chance that she knows him better than we do. There's the little hope that he is a better person towards his family. I'm clinging on to that hope. She wrote us telling us to forget she and her children existed, and that they will take legal action if we ever tried to contact them. Brother-in-law deleted all his social media accounts and his friends apparently all want nothing to do with him. I've heard he is planning on leaving the city because everyone knows what he did now and he is having a hard time with it. He barely leaves the house and he has been shamed, even at work. My ex-husband and I are moving on with the divorce. I don't blame him for believing the rumors, but at the same time I wish he knew me better like I thought he did. That I would never do such a thing and cheat on him. I am so sorry that he moved back for me and probably was hoping we could give it another chance, but I can't. He has apologized so many times, and said so many times, that he never truly believed the rumors, but I have started to think that our marriage wasn't strong enough to overcome a rumor. It is nobody's fault, but I thought our love was stronger than it actually was. I think we both thought that. I've started dating a new guy a few weeks before all this started, after over a year of me not even being able to leave bed. He has seen all of this unfolding, and he's been very patient and supportive. I think I have a real shot at happiness now. At least he knows everything, and is well prepared in case my brother-in-law isn't done with me yet. Thank you for reading all this. And thank you again for being there for me. Comments. Awkward fortune cookie. I'm sorry your sister is in a tough place. I hope she comes around, because he's isolating her now. OPP replies, my only hope now, is that she knows something that we don't about him. That he is better than we think. I am so sorry too and I have nightmares all the time since she cut us off. In my cabbages, I would still go after him for harassment. Even if there is no legal case, I'd still make sure even if he moves and finds a new job they are made aware of how unhinged he is. He stalked and harassed you for years, it's his turn. Beneficial Baker, 4,154.
Heads up op, that message to your family does not sound like it came from your sister. She's being manipulated and likely abused. Find a way to contact her without him knowing. Maybe send a letter to her place of work? New Confusion 5071, not a letter, always in person. With Bio like this, letter is a paper trail he can use against op sister. NG962. I don't know if anyone mentioned but boy were you spot on for not dating this creep 20 plus years ago. OPP replies, it was something about the way he looked at people, I don't know. Dry ask 5493, you do what you want, but I do take issue with you saying your husband believed a rumor. It wasn't a rumor, it was a direct confession from your affair partner, even if it was fake. OPP replies, exactly and I understand that he believed it. Story 2, How I Discovered My Ex-Husband's Deception and Green Card Scheme, A Cautionary Tale. I, 33F at the time, met my now ex-husband, 33M at the time, on O. We got along great from the beginning. He made me feel like I was alone with him, even in a crowded room. Really early on he had me meet his whole family. I waited to have him meet mine BC I have kids from a previous marriage. We dated for about a year. During that time he had to go back to Venezuela once for several months BC. He was here on a visitor's visa. The situation there was really bad, so he was trying to spend as much time as possible here. Just before he was set to go back again we had a great night out with my coworkers and at the end of the night he pulled me close in the parking lot to tell me how much he loved me and that he wanted to be with me forever. He said it wasn't about getting a green card and that he would stay here forever as an illegal if he had to just to be with me. He said he wanted me to be his wife and I said yes. After that we started to figure out logistics and decided we should get legally married so that he could start the visa process here. We had a small beautiful wedding a few months later. Everything was perfect. I bought a bigger house and he and his mother moved in with me and my kids. This whole time he was working under the table as a live sound engineer. He was very successful in his career while in Venezuela doing a lot of big concerts and found a company here that gave him steady gigs plus, let him work managing inventory and doing repairs of sound equipment. He had one steady gig every Sunday at a mega church. Back to the marriage. After we got married, our sex life really does out. We were close outside the bedroom, but rarely had sex after we got married, and once we hit the one-year mark, it died out completely. Our schedules were way different, but we still spent a lot of quality time as a couple and family. Most of our couple time we would drink so I thought maybe it was alcohol affecting him in the bedroom, and honestly sometimes we would get into bed after enjoying too many drinks and just pass out. In 2019, 1.5 years into the marriage, we had an awesome Thanksgiving celebration on the Saturday after Thanksgiving to accommodate all our families. It was a perfect day. The next day he goes to his church gig like normal. I was at home and went on my computer to check my email. A while back he had logged into my computer and my Gmail stuck to his being the primary account for some reason. Every time I logged in, I'd have to switch to my account. Never have I looked at his emails but that day a certain email stuck out to me, I couldn't help but look at it. It was from someone named something like, sexxe69, and titled Session. When I clicked that email my heart dropped. The email was setting up a muscle-worshipping session. It took a quick Google search to figure out what a muscle worship session was, she specifically said no sex in the email. Apparently my then husband had a thing for muscle bound women. And didn't a quick search of the rest of his emails, and didn't see anything else so I waited until he got back from church to confront him. He swore that this was a one time thing, that he was just curious and wanted to try it BC, he did have a fetish for muscle bound girls, and curvy and more of the squishy side. He cried a lot. Something just felt off though. I told him we would be divorced if he didn't let me look through his phone. It took him about an hour locked away to give it to me. Well I immediately went to his WhatsApp and double swiped down to see his deleted messages. There were at least 100. Girls, guys, and everything in between. He apparently had relationships with some, and was just asking arrangements with others, mostly the men. There was one particularly buff girl, like Arnold Schwarzenegger buff, that he seemed to have a long-term relationship with. I'm kinda petty so I proceeded to take a selfie with him crying in the background and send it to all of them explaining that I'm his wife and that he was a cheater. 
a lot of the girls responded telling me they had not known or that they broke up with him when they figured it out. The buff one didn't respond, but her best friend did. She told me that he had been telling people that we had an arrangement just to get him a green card. During this whole time there was a lot of crying and groveling from him, and a lot of screaming from me, I kicked him out and told him his mom needed to be gone by the next day. He cried more, but finally left to his brothers. This all happened on December 1st. On December 31st, I met him at the courthouse to file divorce. He was still crying and groveling. My heart was already broken, so I wasn't having any of that. Thankfully, we didn't have any joint assets, so divorce was just some paperwork. It was finalized by January 15th. He called me once since this was all done to ask me to help him with the next step for his permanent residency. Obviously, I said no. Sue, I recently met a guy from Venezuela who is a live sound engineer, divorced, lives with his mother, and follows bodybuilder women on IG. He's also really into feet. Was your ex into foot worship too? Do I need to run? I'm sorry that dude put you through all that. Ita, dude has a church gig at a mega church every Sunday too. Edit 2, he's also a drinker. I figured he was flaky because of that. The last few times we were supposed to go out he either canceled last minute or just never confirmed. A few days ago I decided not to bother with this guy anyway. I studied sound engineering and collect music, so while we never ran out of anything to talk about, I'm not going to chase a guy down and beg for his attention. Even though I haven't gotten confirmation from Op, I definitely feel confident I made the right choice. Edit 3, confirmed. It's the same guy. Thank you for making this post and saving me. Additional comment from OOP. I hope my super late post about this saves her some heartache. It sucks. Comments. Halabradat. I admit it I laughed. Was your ex into foot worship too? Do I need to run? Sage and Droskwartz. Don't run, he likes it better when they're sweaty. Hained it by Sabure. As if the other stuff was not enough to make her jump off ship, 